Hello everyone, thank you for having me. My name is Kylie and this is my group member. Hi, I'm Grace. Hi, I'm Deborah. Hi, I'm Jasin. Hi, I'm Kenny. And we are from SMK Purong Pampudu. Our group name is PSS, we are the best. And I am going to be speaking to you today is about global warming. Let us know about what is global warming. First and foremost, what can we define as global warming? Global warming is a gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere generally attributed to the greenhouse effect caused by increased levels of carbon dioxide, CFC and other pollutants as well. Our presentation will be divided into four main sections. For the first section, we are going to discuss about the problem that lead to global warming. Second, we will look at the effects of global warming on humans' daily life. Next, we will also know about the ways of, to overcome the problem of global warming. Lastly, we will have a quick look on the author's written work and conclusion too. First, what, what is, is the, the main problem, problem that leads to global warming? Humans are increasingly influencing the climate and the earth temperature. This adds an enormous amount of greenhouse gases to those naturally occurring in the atmosphere. Increasing the greenhouse effect and global warming, as well as different pollution, will happen too, resulting in a myriad of problems. Human activities that cause global warming are stated below. Let's have a look with it. First, burning fossil fuel. Second, forest logging. Third, factory farming intensifies. For farming livestock. Next, we'll be passed through to Queenie. First, burning of fossil fuel, which means the burning of oil, natural gas, and coal to generate energy. As you all can see from the first diagram, the factory is releasing large amount of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas into the air. Next, forest logging. Logging is a process of cutting down trees for fuel as timber or palm. The loss of trees can cause climate change, desertification, soil erosion, and so on. That will increase greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Then, we have factory farming intensified. It's a large industrialized farm, especially a farm on which large number of livestock are raised indoors in conditions intended to maximize production and minimal cost. It emits noxious air is harmful, that is harmful. Lastly, farming livestock, which means domesticated animals raised in an agricultural setting to produce labor and commodities. For example, meat, egg, and milk. These are the four main factors that lead to global warming. Next section, I will pass to Deborah. What is the effect of global warming? The first effect of global warming is people will experience hotter days. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the global temperature has increased about 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit over the past 100 years. The hottest year on record worldwide is in 2016. Secondly, natural disasters like forest fire, hurricanes, cyclones, drought and floods are becoming more frequent and more intense. Humans may face the danger of illness, injury or even death. Animals and plants also may face extinction. Thirdly, the rising of sea levels. Due to the increase of ocean temperature, glaciers and ice caps all over the world started to melt. Expansion of the water mass also result in sea levels to rise, which also threatened the low-lying island and the coastal city. Next, I will pass to Jiaxin. Over the next five minutes, you will hear about how to reduce global warming on our daily routine. First, reduce water waste. Saving water reduces carbon pollution too. That's because it takes a lot of energy to pump hands and treat your water. So take shorter shower, turn off the tap while brushing your teeth and switch to water sense, labor fishes and appliances. Second, eat the food you buy and make less of it meat. Approximately 10% of US energy goes into growing, processing, packaging, and shipping food. About 40% of which just winds up in the landfill. And since livestock products are among the most resource intensive to produce, eat meat free meals can make a big difference too. Next, I will pass to Kailing. Next, I will be continue how to reduce global warming. Drive for fuel efficient vehicles. Get smart cars such as hybrid and fully electric vehicles save fuel and money. 
relative to a national fleet of vehicles that averaged only 28.3 miles per gallon in 2011. America will spend over $800 billion less at pump each year and cut their automotive emission by half. Purpose of the research First, help determine future climate expectations. Second, people will know the serious of global warming in Malaysia. Third, we all are affected no matter where in the world we live. Fourth, be part of the change and love Mother Nature. Fifth, to protect animals in danger of extinction. And last, because we all hate the sight of politicians. Let's have a look with it. Global warming can cause unstable ecosystem and icebergs start melt. Animals will lose their habitat. Next, I will pass you to Grace. So, for the last section, I will talk about the author's written work and the conclusion will be presented by Kailin. We have chosen a book that related with our topic, Global Warming, which is Effect of Changing Climate on Weather and Human Activities. Written by Kelvin E. Chapman and illustrated by Callum Miller, Linda Mears and Stephen Rhodes. I will briefly talk about the synopsis of the book. This book has focused on the warmer temperatures increase the frequency, intensity and duration of heat wave which can pose health risks particularly for young children and the elderly. Second, it also impacts human health by worsening air and water quality, increasing the spread of certain diseases and altering the frequency or intensity of extreme weather events. Next, it rises sea levels threaten coastal communities and ecosystems. Moreover, it also influences geographic ranges of many plants and animal species and the timing of their life cycle events. Lastly, increases in the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events such as heat waves, drought and floods can also increase losses to property. I hope you guys can have a chance to read it. It is really important to protect our environment. I would like to give some background information about the author of the book, Kelvin Trebben. He is a distinguished scholar at the National Center of Atmospheric Research, NCAR, in Border and Honorary Academic in the Department of Physics in Auckland University. He also obtained his Doctor of Science in Meteorology in 1972 from Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He also was a lead author of the Scientific Assessment of Climate Change Reports and share the Dover Peace Prize which went to the IPCC. What has linked to his research interests? He was prominent in all aspects of climate variability and climate change research. He also a leader in the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Assessment and in the World Climate Research Program. Recently, his primary research has focused on the global energy and the water cycles and how they are changing. Kelvin Trebben has once said that the environment in which all sums form has changed owing to human activities. Last conclusion. Overall of this project, I have understood that the Earth is actually sick. We as a human are the one who make global warming happen and hurt the Earth. Our generation should start taking care of the Earth because in the next generation they will suffer if we do not do reduce global warming. Therefore, global warming is a serious issue now. As a student, we are learning it because we need to start save the earth. Last, we will be presenting a poem entitled, I love the earth. I love earth blue sky. I love earth green forest. I love earth white oceans. I love earth living diseases. I love earth many animals. I love earth my home. If you have any question, you can comment down on the comment section and we will, ha we will have a look with it. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.